So we match the other side. It's just about a half a degree. And I wash my hands and it's all over my... Fuck! Jesus! So we're gonna fix the 66 Beatles rear suspension. We're gonna update the spring plates to new non-modified versions, uh, along with new hardware shocks. And here are the tools that we're using today. And we'll be replacing the spring plate that's modified. We'll be checking the angles, making sure what we have to start with before, um, because it had those three inch drops. And uh, we just need to lower it a tad. Uh, to kind of fit the overall look the client is after. Follow along, here we go. So this is factory, factory stop We're on the stops here. And we are at six degrees. So this has a lot of force, so be careful. We're going to put our pry bar under here and we're just gonna bring it off the shelf. Our goal is not to take it off the torsion bar, because we want to know the angle. All right, so that's unloaded. So we were at six degrees earlier. Unloaded, we are at 11 and a half degrees. torsion bar to stay in there.
little much. On the wrong side, cut loose with a burning desire. This won't take long. So we're gonna go for two degrees. Pull this off. Pull this out. More like a half a degree to zero with it all in here so this is under a load which means we don't know the condition of this torsion bar or the history or the skeletons that tell the story till later so this is just a preliminary we're gonna do it unloaded at zero we're gonna match both sides we're going to test it with the axle in. We're going to jack up the axle and see what it is when it starts lifting the car up. Take that measurement down and, and make sure that both the left and the right match. This is key because you don't want a car to be higher on one side than the other. So that part's done. We'll go do the other side. We match this side to that side, which is unloaded at roughly a half a degree um, so both are matching we'll, we'll understand the history of these once we put it under a load and um, if we're lucky uh, it'll be the same overall height uh, and we'll go and we won't have to readjust it but right now under a load we're just at a half a degree Staring down the face of resistance. I go the distance In the fire I'll find deliverance I'll give whatever it takes I'm gonna go the distance I'm gonna go the distance I'm gonna go the distance
Installing these bolts, we want to go from the from the inside out. We put them outside. Um, and people do various different bolts in it. They could actually puncture the shock. So, uh, rule of thumb: come from the uh, inside out. You don't want to assume just because the lines up here match or they're flushed out that it's the correct alignment. So you don't want to snug these up yet, you know, um, because you need to be able to rock it back and forth uh, to get proper four wheel alignment. So we're just going to leave them uh, a tad loose, um, just not torque down someone where we can still move it.
assume this would, would go smooth, but they had a half inch bolt in it and it has made the hole a little oval. So I have to clean that out. So we've tightened this to our normal disc brake specs. We are not a fan of doing it sideways and wrapping it this way. It looks kind of cheap. So what we do is we put the long one facing out. And then we bend it over the axle. How you do it right the drums just were able to pull right off which they weren't adjusted properly so we're going to adjust them properly now um we can't do it perfect right now because we need uh, pressure to do that and so when we do that um we will fine tune this <laughs> continues to amaze. Lock nuts. No double jams. No fine tune adjustments. Guaranteed that I'm gonna break these tips off this cable right now. We're gonna find out. All right. Double nutted, adjusted. I hit about three, maybe four clicks. One, two, three. tie wire around the nut there and kind of just we didn't fix any of this that at all set up all right so we got the steering uh, connection all the parts just kind of loosely fit in there and uh, we're just going to fine tune uh, this for this vehicle. Um, this uh, portion of the steering box needs to come up. So oops, we're going to loosen this bolt and we're going to tighten the other one and it's going to rock the steering wheel. It's going to rock it up and that will make this uh, more even. And then 
uh, we're going to move this a touch that way. Um, they're not super tight on the clamp below. We'll, we'll lift it up and show that down now. So we're gonna loosen this one and tighten this one. And if we get lucky, we can move this clamp that way just a tad. And uh, it's not touching the steering column now, but if we can get a little bit more, we're good. These uh, pins are exactly where factory is. So with knowing the history of this car, uh, things are probably moved, uh, but uh, we can accommodate it. This car keeps uh, showing us its skeletons. The steering column is bent. So as we rotate it, it kind of wobbles, wobbles, wobbles. So we got it in alignment uh, pretty easily. Uh, and it misses a steering box, but obviously if this is my car, I would replace it. Um, but it's not, so it's just on one of those items that we recommend to the client. Hey, you should probably look at this as funds allow. So everything is locked down. Uh, we got the horn wire hooked up, ground wire. And uh, the front is done minus alignment and a right height adjustment and beam bolts. Uh, they're snug, but if we need to, uh, you know, adjust it left to right, we're gonna do that fine tune uh, once we get the car on the ground. What's up, Air Cooled Army? It's your friend Pete. We're doing some fine tune adjustments. You're gonna come along. Uh, we set the car on the ground, and the client says it's a little too low. So we're actually gonna go up. Uh, we, we did a measurement of the car to the ground and it was exactly the same left to right. So when we put it under load, it measured out as exactly the same. So we're gonna go exactly one spline uh, down to raise the vehicle and put it all back together and uh, make sure the customer, the client, the air-cooled army likes the stance then. And we'll show you the process now. Fine tune adjustments, go! All right, so we've finalized our right height and we see the amount of threads that are left. We're actually gonna cut, not here, but up here, this amount. So this flushes out with the nut. That way you're not going to rip off everything. This is be nice and flush. So we're gonna do that now. Hey guys, I want to tell you about the promotion. We're continuing in 2021, and that's giving away one of these Ultima Beams to one of our subscribers who likes and comments on our videos. Uh, once we hit 10K, uh, we're at this number right here right now. Uh, once we're at 10K, then we're going to randomly select a, a subscriber and make sure they've commented on one of the videos, and we're gonna give it away. For your Type 1 Beetle, Gia, Type 3 thing, uh, that's what we're going to do. One of those bad boys right there. And you could be it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Now back to the film. <laughs>